what's up guys welcome back to another episode of satisfactory update 6 as you can see uh we have all the stuff for the um volatile whatever it is the volatile beams i should probably call it i know it's not that's not the name of it as you can see we have that fold and we almost have the smart plate in this episode we'll be working on the see what it's called volatile framework this episode we'll be working on getting the automatic wiring done for the space elevator I uh, probably would have to do that I don't know what it takes to make those I'll probably look into that now you may see some a difference in the building down here I had to make some slight changes just before I started recording the episode I had the game running for a bit, that's how the um, stuff got finished. And I came across the issue where the modular frame truck and the volatile framework truck were constantly running into each other and sticking right up that hill there. So I made a quick adjustment to the volatile framework line. Now I have it going around the building, it's actually going upstairs, up this ramp that I made last episode. But what I did, I extended the ramp a little bit further, so that it's now going around this corner and back down in front of the building, where the coal is coming in. So the volatile framework struck would come down here and go up to the space elevator. Then it would come back and come back up and go around the building and then go back to the truck station. So far it's working good if we come across any other issues we have to build a whole highway to get all these um, tractors running perfectly without running into each other. So that's some stuff I did off camera. I also put up some walls so that it looks the ramp looks separate from the actual building. I have to constantly watch my back when I'm walking here because I just before I started recording the episode I got run over by my own freaking tractor so yeah also the other reason I put up those walls is because J Mr. George across there kept roaming around my damn factory apparently that ke kept him out interesting but not know that works Right, other than that, that's about it for the uh, factory changes I did off camera. Uh, let's run to Ingles are also made in the space elevate, not in the space, uh, in the um, assemblers. So we're gonna check on the one of these assemblers up here. actually full of explosives funny I am uh see yeah it's actually making the assemblers so that needs these what do you call those it's the stators that was a weird thing to remember which is also created in here which is wires and pipes. Hmm. This is gonna be interesting. So, remember how last episode was more trucks? This episode might be even worse. Probably gonna be the title of this episode. So now I have to get um, the steel pipes from this factory here. I have a line already up here. Uh, I need to get a C pipes from that factory or I can get the wires either or I can either get the steel pipes from this factory or I can get the wires from the um, copper factory up by the main base most likely I'll do the wires I 
but if i do the wires then i have to find a spot to actually build that factory and that area there looks like a decent area to start one because i can i don't really have much of an open area on this side because i do have a truck line that's coming here as you can see i don't have much of an open area on this side unless i build it across there Hmm. could build it across there but then the truck would be conflicting two trucks because right here there's a line for the sulfur and there's a line for the modular frames is also coming down this way wow i may have to build a friggin highway okay so most likely i would build the uh, factory here uh let's see is there a way up on the side here i think there's a way up if there is a way up i might actually have the truck come up here yeah there's a way up so i can actually build it right here i may have to blow up that tree and uh, have another truck station pull the um cable no the wires from the main copper base which is up by the hub and the space elevator it's actually closer to the space elevator i have a truck pull the um stuff from there then have it come and empty the cables here i can always pull the pipes off of that line and that's what we need for that once we get that i think it's that and um what was it again mm. yes i have enough to build assemblers now um that and cables so i also needed to bring cables wow so the better idea now is to have the truck pull the um steel pipes from here carry it up to this copper factory because the copper factory already has both okay still works out the way i wanted it to right so what i would have to do i'd have to take these steel pipes from on this line here and send it up to the copper factory which is right next to the space elevator so let's calculate what we need also guys if you're new to the channel don't forget to drop a like and hit the subscribe that's factory videos every saturdays on another note we from this video this episode onwards we will be uploading early for the patreon so all you guys who support me on patreon would get access to the video satisfactory videos on tuesdays you guys will get access to that um it would be an unedited version of the video so you guys can see my thought process during my build montage if you guys want to support the channel on patreon links would be down in the description all right so let's calculate what we need for sure i know we need one tractor and two truck stations we'd also need production we need um that's very really interesting we need four four assemblers because we need two for the Tattoos and two for the automatic wiring. 
And uh, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. It's simpler than I thought. So we just need to get some reinforced iron plates. Which you can get as we right down here. You can just run upstairs and get that down here. Um, you need to get some reinforced iron plates. Uh, modular frames, you can get that here too because I should have a surplus in the truck station. I think I may need to... How much is this? This is 4 to 1. 4 to 1 ratio. And this produces 3. I don't have any overclockers. I could pull one off of one of these... Um, Stuff I have overclocked in the corner here. Oh, I'm also lacking on the iron. That's interesting. Uh, what do I need to upgrade that to uh, tier 2? Yikes. Can I craft that inside of the... Is my crafting benches in the back? I don't know. Can I craft tools in here? Yes, I can. Oh, okay. Uh, I need more concrete. Ah, oh, I gotta run for concrete quick. Uh, let's go get the concrete. And while we get the concrete, we also get the cables. Once we get the cables, we come back down here and uh, finish off what we're doing down here. It's gonna take a while. It usually takes a good while for me to run to the other base. I honestly can't wait till I unlock um phase two, which is tier five and six, where I can. Where I can um, get some better figures. Because I think I have to get actually get quartz to get the um, explorer buggy. And uh, as I know from actually searching for quartz, it's really far away. Like almost 3,000. Some deposits are 3,000 away. The closest is about. That's about one, one thousand meters away. Uh, probably after we finish uh, getting stuff set up this episode, we do. Search for some quartz next episode. Uh, keepers. So right here is where I'm going to build a factory. I'll probably go upstairs with it. This here is where the cables are because we need both cables and wiring. This is the wires here. So we need both of those. That's why I decided to build it here because we already have both of those um, being produced up here. So it's better to send everything to this station than have it at another station. I most likely would put the 
the cave entrance there already. Most likely we'll put the truck station somewhere here and have it go up the hill. Alright, about here is good. Have it run up that little ramp that I walked up just now. Uh, right, let's get back to the... Base down here. I think that's the sulfur truck here. Most likely it is. The sulfur truck is going back for more sulfur. And that's the volatile frameworks truck. Just returned from the space elevator. That's the only truck that would be coming on this hill here. The coal truck goes up on that side there. Better stay down there. Anyway, yes, we got the wiring and stuff, cables. While we went up there. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, right, yeah. Needed more concrete to get... Um, I think it's 10. I also need to build... Uh, you we better run into that piece and get a um right I got everything scrub down the mark too So the Mark II is actually wanting me to delete this. And enough space in my inventory, are you freaking kidding me? Uh, right. Mm. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's shove this down. Connected to the wow, that looks way more intense on the other one. Mm -hmm. Now we have a mark two. Shut this in there. This produces sixty per minute. Sixty I know per minute. Whereas the regular mark one produces thirty per minute. So this one does double the double the production, which should work out fine because we need that amount right now. Right, now that issue is fixed. I needed to fix that because that's that. George. Really. And then that issue is fixed, so I to run upstairs and figure why the frick George is still upstairs. Don't know why that damn thing is always in my building.
I should have more um, beams, stage beams coming up here. Yeah? George, really? Oh, I find the weirdest spots to be. Right, so the uh, reinforced iron plates is in this one here. Alright, the um stuff. Oh god. Go ahead. Jeez. I heard it coming up and I still walked out and almost got run over. Hmm, saw that. I think it's this one here. So that's clear, it's not gonna shoot right now to him. Wait, did that truck already leave? I already. We got everything we need. Let's uh, first build the whole truck. Let's first build the truck that's gonna be truck station and the truck that's gonna be here. It's gonna pull the um, steel pipes from the steel pli pipeline we have run into the explosive factory. have to get coal I doesn't I don't think it's gonna be an issue because there is a coal line right next to the steel pipeline that's also supplying the other truck station that's up there so that's not gonna be an issue you yeah. gonna need two sweaters One that's gonna be on this line and one that's gonna be on the cool line. Ready? Ready for real. Oh yes, I forgot to pick up the um Steel plates, not not steel plates. The iron plates, way well down there. Silly me, forgot to pick up the iron plates. One sec, let me just run for that quick. Uh, all this is probably go already gonna be in a time in a build montage. So yeah, probably started from now. Uh, alright, so I'm gonna go into a quick bell montage here. Patrons will get access to the full unsped up edited version of the bell montage. Uh, other than that, you guys will be seeing an edited bell montage version. It's got it.
that's the end of the film montage for those of you guys watching on YouTube, watching the edited version on YouTube. That's the end of the film montage. Uh, you guys want to see the whole thought process during the film montage there? You guys can support the channel on Patreon and get access to that video of my whole thought process while I was building. Whoa, we did not know that went into the ground, but whatever. At this point, it's no use um, thinking about that. Uh, I'm just gonna run around, uh, put up some railings before I wrap up the episode. Got my buttons there. Uh, this is gonna have walls, so I'm not gonna put railings there. Right, from this floor you can actually see the steel factory where the steel pipes are coming from. The steel pipes are coming from right down there. Uh, that there is the explosive factory right where my cursor is right now. That's the explosive factory, that's the steel, steel and iron factory and 2.2 factory because that there is the original iron factory which is now set to be producing smart plating. So yeah, that's no longer the, or the um, iron factory. Oh my god, did not notice we had iron across there. Damn. Right, uh, which truck is that? I think that's the... Um, came from that direction. I think that's the um, modular frame trucks that truck that just went to go back up, up in that direction. So those... Two factories, three factories, a major factory and a small explosive factory there. That's what we have there. We have the smart plating factory right there next to the hub. And then this is the copper and uh, the copper and the um, automatic wiring factory, which I just built this episode. From here you can see the space elevator right across there and the uh, volatile framework tractor just going back to get more which we don't even need at the moment. Across there you can see the water extractors which is, has the not so insane pipelines running across right there. My cursor is right now you can see the power plant which has 10 coal power generators which is powering the whole base we also have a harvest okay then we also have a backup um, power generation by the extractors so that we can flick that switch when we actually need the power to power the um, extractors so that the the water extractor so that it supplies enough water to the coal power plant to kick start it back up that's in case we run out of power uh, also right below the coal power plants you might be able to see it you might have switched the switch the picture mode here for compels you to harvest this artifact right let's zoom in a bit there Right there, you can see that's the modular factory across there. The power plants are there, the five coal power plants, and the coal is being supplied from up there. 
I just switch up um, picture mode to zoom into that. Uh, across there is the water extractors. We have some biomass um, burners there just in case we need to kickstart the power system. Space elevator and everything else. Uh, let me get, give you guys a little zoom in to the... Wait, is that our first automatic wiring going there? No, we have a good bit on the line already. And there it goes. There goes the first batch of automatic wiring. Alright, so probably next episode we'd have phase two. I'll uh, give you guys a wrong way. Alright, so there's the truck station, the foliage and stuff obviously will not be in as it's that far away. There's the um, truck station for the steel pipes. There's the explosive factory, explosive in that container there. Uh, truck, sulfur truck station, I don't think, uh, that probably the, I don't think I can see the sulfur from here, can I? Uh, let's see. The sulfur is somewhere in that area. Uh, I did run the wire for the sulfur mine behind the space elevator, so it's, I think the sulfur is probably up on one of those hills across there. Ah, there it is. Spotted it. There's the sulfur mine there. <laughs> Way across in the distance. I barely spotted that. There's the sulfur mine which has a truck that's running from the sulfur mine across to the explosive factory. And my insane giant steel slash iron rotors and um, reinforced iron plates are being produced on that side of the factory steel is being produced on the right side from where we're standing it's on the right side of the factory it's steel on the steel and what steel and the um multi frameworks is also produced there too uh the steel is below the volatile framers volatile framers is on top floor and iron Iron pipes, not iron pipes, iron tubes or whatever the damn thing is called, I forgot already. Iron poles, yes, there it is. Iron poles and iron plates are produced downstairs, which are sent upstairs, which screws are also produced down there too, which are sent upstairs to create the reinforced iron plates and the rotors which is the ones that i actually use oh you actually got to see the uh i think that's the volatile framework truck just went upstairs there to go around to get back to its truck station surprisingly i can see all of that from here hey guys hope you guys enjoyed i might redo the concrete factory because this is the concrete factory we have right now so we might redo that at a point in time if you guys enjoyed the episode if you guys want to see more don't forget to drop a like hit that subscribe don't forget to click on the bell icon to get notified when i release my satisfactory episodes every saturdays uh also if you guys want to support the channel on patreon and get access to the unedited versions of my satisfactory videos from this episode onwards you guys can support the channel link would be down in the description if you guys enjoyed see you guys in the next one i am out probably gonna get a thumbnail now but yeah i'm out peace